Good day, we're back again out of this Inventor Professional 2020. Today's topic is Pinit Element Analysis. For the project, I will be creating a new project. So click New. New Single User Project, click Next. For the name, I'm gonna change this one to Pinit Element Analysis. Click next and click finish. The project path you entered doesn't exist, so should it be created, click OK. Now we are in the PNIT element analysis folder, so I'm going to click done. Now for the units, I'm going to click the uh, config configure default template, so I'll be using millimeters. It's OK. Cancel that one, it's OK. Then I'll be creating a new part here. We will be trying to simulate a force that is being applied to a shafting. Then we will see what will be the reaction of, of that shafting if you're going to apply a tensional force. So we are we are now in the model tab of Autodesk Inventor. Now in my browser tab. I will be clicking my X, Y, uh, Y is day, X day, and X day plane. Right click on that one and to make it visible. I'm gonna click home. Then create a 2D sketch on this surface, the X day plane. I will be creating a circle. We'll notice here we have here the center point. I'm gonna click it on the center point. In order that it will be constrained on the center point, the center of the uh, the center of the circle, then giving this one a diameter of around. Um, let's give it around, let's say, uh, fifty mm. So you you will notice here we are now fully constrained. I think that one is okay. Now we can proceed. We can finish the sketch, and then through the surface or this uh, to the sketch i'm gonna give the distance or the length of this one is around 500 mm so still makes sense to see all the views we have here i'm gonna click ok i'm happy for this one So by clicking the stress ana analysis simulation, so I will be transferred to the simulation window. By creating the study, we have here to create new study. We have static analysis. We will be dealing more on static analysis. In the study type, the analysis type and contact type to be used among components are specified on this tab. Static analysis because the load of or field conditions do not alter with time in static anal analysis it is assumed that the load or field conditions are applied gradually rather than abruptly this analysis can be performed on a linear or non-linear system in structural analysis inertia and damping effects are disregarded detect and eliminate rigid body modes if you want to detect and eliminate the solid body on which there aren't enough limitations defined, tick this option. However, the load following the removal of the solid body must remain balanced in this scenario. Separate stresses across contact surfaces. When various tensions are required across contact surfaces, this checkbox is selected. This is due to the fact that different materials were chosen for various components. Now on my model browser here, so I have here my part, so I have here your extrusion, I have here materials, constraint, loads, and contacts, and mesh, and results. So let's add the material, so I will be assigning a material here. We have here part, 
so you have or original material override material safety factor by uh, means of your yield strength now click this tab in order for us to add the material so i will be looking um mild steel welded so i'll be clicking this one i have my steel welded material already on my dashboard then you will notice here it is also added on my material now what we have here we're using a uh, material for our shop which is still uh, welded type this is mild steel i'm gonna click ok now next let's have the constraint here so for the constraint we have different type of constraint given by auto inventor we have fix uh, we have frictionless constraint and you have your pin constraint now in order for us to simulate this one cantilever uh, it is like a cantilever i will be applying a fixed position in this side or this surface or let's say this face i'm gonna click the face that one i'm gonna click apply now you will not now you will notice here the symbol which of your fix symbol constraint it's already being means that it's already being attached by a fixed constraint then i'm gonna apply the load so for the, uh, for the load we have different types of load here we have force pressure bearing moment and gravity we have also remote force we have your body also for now we'll be using the force to apply on the surface I will try to rotate my view here using my orbit. Now for the location, I will try to select this face for my applied force. I'm going to click, click, click. Okay, here I'm going to select this face. Now that the face is being highlighted, you will notice the arrow of force or the direction of the force where it will tend to go then it is you will observe it is in a compression since this is our fixed support now we are applying a force toward the fixed support now the bar is exp will be experiencing a compression stress in order for us to simulate a tension stress so we, i will be flipping this one you will observe that the direction of the force is on the opposite side that give us a tensional force then for the magnitude i'm gonna give the value of 1000 newton and i'm gonna click apply set this one i'm gonna click the uh, click the home view now let's go for the mesh so for the mesh we're going to get uh, we're going to create we have here the mesh view so i'll be computing i'll be creating the mesh view we have observed here a tetrahedron uh, mesh that is being applied to our shaft then we can now simulate so for the simulate you have your model part here one study one configuration will be run click run now for the result we have the bone mice stress you will observe here that we have um the minimum of 0 0.28 uh, 28 for the unit of mega pascal and the maximum stress which is 0. 55, six, uh, 55 65 for the maximum stress you will notice here we have the color from blue to red so when so it does not mean if you are in the red color it does not mean that is that the material will fail uh, this is only just to give us insight or uh, give us an overview what is the material being experienced during the application of force on the tension side or the tension surface 
Now let's try to animate this one. So I'm gonna animate this one. So animate result. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna play the button here. You will notice that initially that is in a minimum value of 0.28, then abruptly changing to the color of uh, this red value, which is 0.5565. If I will try to rotate this one as it simulates, so you will also observe that we have also the minimum value at this point which is being constrained to sight. So I'm gonna click this one, okay? Now for the probe, so let's try to click the probe here. Now you will also, I can also adjust this one, no? So this is uh, the values of sim. Uh, so we can adjust this one. The simulated, the simulated values are already times one. So if we, we'll, if we will try to adjust this one, I'm gonna click the stop here, and I'm gonna click this uh, actual or let's say actual value so we're we using the actual now if we try to simulate this one so you'll notice there is no sudden deformation because the deformation is very small now if we try to simulate also the deformation of the stress or the displacement we have here the displacement along the x oh no we'll try to see the deflection along the y-axis so if we have here the y-axis if we try to animate this one you will notice also from 0 to maximum we have 0 0.00 1, 1156 for the maximum value this is already very small for the deflection and you cannot uh, see it by your naked eye already so because it's very small so this is only just for exaggerating the result to see uh, to give us insight and uh, what will be the reaction uh, what will be the result of that force being applied to our object so how does the material how does the material will respond by the by the means of the, the load that being applied on the material and on that type of, and also on that type of material now for we have also here the display for your principal stresses third principal stresses so you can also review that one from your machine design